What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Laner Economics, and we are taking a look at our Dream Vacation Budget Project Spreadsheet today. A couple things. At the top, just put the dates you're going to be traveling, which destination you are traveling to, your flight, the hotel name, the cost of each, and the web link that you found that information from. We've broken up your itinerary into three days. Day one, you have the restaurant name. So put the restaurant name underneath, some of the items that you bought, the total price, and the web link. Any attraction or sites that you visited that day, put them down if there was a cost, put down the cost, the web link that you found it from. And then lastly, any souvenirs that were purchased, again the cost, and the website they were found. On the side here, as you start to type in your prices, your subtotal, your sales tax, total cost, and then your surplus will be calculated. Again, remember you have $1,500 to spend. As you scroll down, you will notice there's a spot for day two, so what you saw on your second day, and then lastly, what you saw on your third day. Let's take a look at a student sample. Here could be a sample of what yours may look like as you finish. So again, at the top, dates traveling, put the dates right here. For this example, we pretended like we were going from New York to Chicago. So I'm traveling to Chicago, Illinois, and I put the name of the hotel that we stayed at, the total cost of each one, and the web URL right here. And as I type these prices in, this is automatically calculated right here on the right-hand side. So the first day I take a look, uh, one of the restaurants I went to was Steak 48. I decided to type in what I ordered on the menu, which was steak, the mac and cheese, the baked potato, and I had water to drink. My total was $73. As I type this price in here, it automatically calculates. So let me show you guys what this looks like. So as I go in here, let's just make it, let's say I spend $1,200. As I click in there, you can see it automatically updated that. And if I spent that, which is a lot of money spent on food, you would see I went over my budget. And that's where you'll see that negative sign. So let's go back. Let's say it was $73. When I type that in there, you can see this automatically will calculate on the side. So as you go through and as you type in your prices, the subtotal, the taxes in there, um, your eventual total cost, and then how much money you have left to spend. This will be helpful, especially as you get to your third day in travel and making sure you stay within your budget. We also have the links in here. This is why this is helpful. If I click on this link, it's gonna take me directly to their website. Give it a second to load in. And what's nice about this location is as you scroll down, they actually have their menu right here. So as I go through, I can take a look at the menu online. I can then come up with what I would eat at the restaurant, and I could calculate my total to put right here in my total cost lane. Another example, someplace I visited, I went to the Art Institute downtown. The ticket was $25.99. Here's the web link right here. Some souvenirs I bought from their gift shop. There was a necklace, a snowman scarf, and a penguin tie. That total was $74.98. This was the link that took me right to the souvenir shop. As you go through on day two, again, a second restaurant I went to uh, on here, I put down what was ordered, put my total, put the link to the restaurant. The second day, you could see I did a little bit more sightseeing. I went to Navy Pier, went in the Ferris wheel, uh, put the total, put Navy Pier as link. I took a lakefront cruise through them, and I went to a fun house maze. So I put down some of these prices on there. Uh, I bought a Chicago t-shirt as a souvenir, again, from the souvenir shop. And again, you see that total I add in comes right here on the side. And then lastly, on my third day, uh, I went to Benny's Chop House as a restaurant. These are the, all the food items. It's making me hungry just reading them off. Uh, there's my total that I spent. I went to the Museum of Science and Industry. That was my $30 ticket. And I bought a science kit from the gift shop. So again, as I went through and as I looked at my budget and what I did for each three days of my dream vacation to Chicago, you can see I spent $1,134.59, calculating my 10% tax, which is $113.46, and my total cost, which was $1,248.05, uh, that left me over 
95 cents, which again, you can kind of take home, uh, you utilize it on your own. Now, if you get towards the end of your vacation and you realize, hey, I still have some money left, feel free to um, spend it on other souvenirs and other things you want, save it. Maybe a, a good plan would be to take that $251 when you return and maybe put it into a, a savings account, maybe to budget for your next vacation or the next project you'd like to take on. Uh, if you have any questions on this part of the project, feel free to reach out. And remember, have fun creating your dream vacation budget project.